Yes. What type of insurance you provide? So my focus is on Medicare. I do other insurance, but Medicare is a very, very big part of my business. One, because to qualify for Medicare, you have to be 65 years old mm -hmm. or on a di or having a disability, and 10,000 people turn 65 a day. Mm. So that is a huge market, and when it comes to the information that they're given, a lot of it's fumbled up and, and muddled, muddled down. So I feel is that it is my responsibility to service that group and to explain it very well. Mm -hmm. Medicaid, and I hear Medicaid and I hear the word Medicare. Two different things. Two, two, two different you, things. I, I'm assuming you hear that all the time from people. <laughs> I hear it all the time. You know, sometimes I think the insurance industry and the politicians make these names close to kind of fumble people up. It is, it is a the bane of my existence, but it allows me to have an opportunity to educate people. Medicaid, when you hear aid, think uh, income, income base. Medicare, think of those who need the most care, which is typically people who have a disability or people who are older or who are aging. So that's how I little, you know, little I play got on it, it now. So though, Medicare, I, got it. I care for those who need who need me the most. Now, both of those are government health care programs. Yes. Uh, and the way this works is that Medicaid is funded by the state, a state to state. No matter where you live in, your state is going to take care of that income base. Medicare is a federally backed health care backed. Uh, it was signed into law in 1965, Lyndon B. Johnson and the idea is that as you get older, we don't want your health care to skyrocket. Okay. So Medicare helps with that. You are the Medicare guy. I am the med so I am the mm -hmm. Medicare guy. Occasionally I do point or resource I help people in the direction for Medicaid mm -hmm. because that demographic a lot of times overlaps. Mm -hmm. Just because you're 70 years old doesn't mean that your income is here or there or anywhere else. So a lot of times I may point in that direction, but primarily I am a Medicare guy. One of the things that comes out early in this discussion is that you say you point people in different directions. You have access to a lot of different services for people. It seems to me that you take it personal. Yeah. You are not just in it for the dollar. You want to help people get to the right place that they need to be. Tell me where that comes from. Why you like that? Well, you know, it, it came from my education, but more importantly from my experience. When you sit down with someone, and I find my clients in all different places of retirement in life, and you sit down next to, next to someone and they say, I bring in, Brian, I bring in $700 a month that I have to live off of. And that's all that I have. And my family doesn't visit me. I haven't seen my grandson or kids in, in, in months uh, because of COVID or maybe sometimes not even COVID related. So you have this person who definitely needs assistance and help and they're being marketed to and bombarded with that information. So then after a while, you sort of slow walk it and you understand, okay, there are a lot of things that this person needs outside of me signing them up for a plan that they could increase their coverages and, and give them all of these benefits. They need someone to actually be by their side. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's my main goal and main passion.